What's going on guys, it's Rated here, bringing you guys a brand new Call of Duty World War 2 video. What I'm going to be going over in this video is the fact that weapon variants may be returning, or in fact that they are actually going to be returning. We have no clue yet if they are going to be game changing or not, or changing the stats of the weapon, but I'll update you guys later on in the video. If you guys are new around here, make sure you do go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a future video. And also make sure to leave a like down below. Let's try and aim for something well over 250 likes on this video. It would be greatly appreciated. And of course, I do give a shout out to the notification squad at the end of the video. So make sure you go ahead and comment down below hashtag notification squad if you are here early on the video. And with that said, let's begin. So the supply drop system, what I've seen so far due to the leaks, is pretty much is very similar to Modern Warfare Remastered. Not only the fact that it's similar to Modern Warfare Remastered, it's kind of similar to Infinite Warfare as well. Now right now, I believe we do not have any weapons in the game or any weapon variants. We only have cosmetic items such as gear, emblems, camos, etc. We only have them in the game at the moment. We don't have any gun stats or any weapons that change the gun stats in this game as of now. But as Michael Condry did say, on release, there is going to be no weapon variants now bear in mind he did say on release and this is subject to change most likely will change as we had seen activision promise in modern warfare remastered that we was going to have no dlc weapons not even like going to have any supply drop blue only cosmetic items and then what do we know a few months down the line they added a few weapons into the game even though they did allow us to craft them i still think it was a bit unfair as they did promise us something and they didn't stick to their word they also had said this about different games like Black Ops 3 and to be honest the weapons in Black Ops 3 weren't that bad but they did have an aspect of game stats I guess you could say they did change the game quite a bit because all the weapons that were in the game especially the people who had the weapons were partnered up with people who didn't have the weapons and if you guys hadn't already seen all of that fiasco already what they did is pretty much match people with weapons with people who didn't have them to try and encourage them to buy supply drops and try and unlock the weapons. Even though the chances of getting the weapons was, were very, very low. We already know in China they actually have to go ahead and give the percentages out. I'm not entirely sure if that would be introduced into like different countries like the UK or the US. That would be great in my opinion because then we would know what chances we actually have of unlocking the weapons. Now bear in mind, I don't mind weapons in the game. Fair enough, it's not really fair to people who don't have them. Like in Black Ops 3, I didn't spend no money on COD points and I didn't really get any DLC weapons. So that's why I didn't really make videos on them. But I know people who spent like thousands of dollars just to try and get these weapons and they still didn't get them. And then a few other people just got lucky. Now it was very easy to grind out multiplayer in Modern Warfare Remastered, especially for these weapons and especially to build them and get keys to unlock guns and cosmetic items. But right now we see that it is very similar to Advanced Warfare in a sense because the way that you unlock supply drops, you have two people at the end of the game who are chosen to actually get a supply drop to unlock in the game in the headquarters mode. And in my opinion, the supply drop animation is just insane. You guys are just going to be so shocked when you jump in the headquarters on Friday and unlock your first supply drop. So you guys are going to have your mind blown away. I've seen it. And it really does look amazing. Not only that, but Sledgehammer Games did promise that all the guns, if they do add them, will be equal and they will be fair to use. There will only be uh, different styles of guns. So, for example, an MP40 with maybe a longer barrel, we don't even know right now. This is just all speculation. We know that the game's coming out Friday. And to be honest, we're not really going to know too much about DLC weapons and weapon variants until two months down the line probably when it's christmas or in december sometime then is when we'll actually find out about all these dlc weapons because we know activision love to push out dlc weapons in christmas especially in december due to them having everybody spend their christmas money on them now me personally i probably won't even bother buying supply drops in this game i'll just earn all of my stuff and if I do, then it'll just be for your guys' benefit. I'll be doing it just to post videos here on the channel. But like I did say, that's all I've really got for this video. Weapon variants are going to come in the game. I can 100% promise you that. But we're not entirely sure if they're going to be the same way they was in Advanced Warfare with weapon stats changing, so on and so forth. But like I did say, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Definitely leave a like down below if you haven't already. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a future video. If you're at the end of the video already, comment down below hashtag weapons. And then people will be confused. I don't know. Comment something down below and let me know i'll be replying to all of you guys comments but other than that hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace